Forbidden Kingdom or Messier. Eh, that's about it. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. And we're down to the final three 100 point prep races. There's technically a fourth in the Lexington that we'll get to as well in uh, in a couple weeks. But we got three 100 point prep races this weekend. We're going to start with the, in my opinion, the least exciting of the three, the Santa Anita Derby. We don't actually have post positions yet or official entries, but it's looking like a small field. This is what Horse Racing Nation has as the probables, and I can't see it changing much from this. Uh, headlined by Forbidden Kingdom for Mandela, winner of the San Felipe, and Messier now with Tim Yachton, uh, the winner of the Robert B. Lewis, who posted that 103 buyer speed figure for that effort. Uh, some of the other notables... Uh, Tabia for Baffert. Every that's that's kind of one of his monsters that everybody's expecting to have a big second half of the year. He's pre-entered here. I don't really see. I, I don't know if he's actually going to go. I I kind of doubt it. I feel like if he was going to go, they would have ch changed Barnes with him. Uh, same with uh, Ar Armanac. The other Baffert listed here. This is going to be a very small field of maybe six, maybe six horses tops. I'm going to guess it's going to be four or five. So not an exciting prep. Really, in my opinion, you got you, there's two main contenders here. It's going to be who's ever faster between Forbidden Kingdom and Messier. I'm going to lean more towards Forbidden Kingdom here. But if Messier runs that 103 buyer again, oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, if he runs another 103 buyer, he's not only is he going to win this race, he's probably going to go off the Kentucky Derby favorite. But we'll get into the the listed probable horses as well. Um, we'll start we'll start with Happy Jack for Doug O'Neill. He was third in the San Felipe, very distant third in the San Felipe, and he, like while he ran third, I. I think for, I mean, depending on what you're playing here and depending on how many horses, I, I'm not going to use him. I'd rather use the other Doug O'Neill horse that's listed as a probable here, uh, in my opinion. Happy Jack, just he's already proven he's not as good as, uh, as Forbidden Kingdom. And I don't think that Arkansas Derby group was all that strong. And we saw how second place finisher uh, Doppelganger came back to to run there. He finished fourth wasn't a great fourth so i i'm gonna steer clear of happy jack in in my opinion if you're if you're using happy jack trying to beat the chalk you're really just grasping at straws there i think he's a safe toss the other doug o'neill horse that's entered here or maybe entered here is win the day and he won it he was impressive in his maiden win last time out and that's kind of about the positive uh they went from he started his career on turf. He switched to dirt. He looked like a different horse on dirt. We'll see if he can do it again. I still think he's outclassed, but I think he's one that probably, if he's entered, he's definitely going to be a price compared to the top two. And he might be one that, if they duel each other into submission, maybe he can split them. Or if one put a, puts away the other at the top of the stretch, maybe he's one that can catch, can turn around and catch him. Personally, I think, again, I think that's grasping at straws. I think the favorites are going to run on two here. But if you had to use one of these two Doug O'Neill horses that are targeting this race, he would be the one I would use. Uh, yeah, and that's that's kind of it. There's the It's going to be a speed duel up front, in my opinion. One of these, either Forbidden Kingdom or Messier, is going to get the lead. I think we're probably going to get a pretty fast pace here, because I think both of them truly want the lead. So you're probably going to get a, a 22 opening quarter. And these two are probably just going to go gate gate the wire, just sticking to each other. I don't think the rest of these probables are good enough, except for uh, Tibia. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. 
Uh, that's the only one that if he was entered, if he was entered, he would definitely make things interesting because he looks he looked the part in his debut. Uh, I would be very surprised if I'd be very surprised if they entered him here, especially with the whole Baffert situation. So I'm not expecting him to run. But Forbidden Kingdom and Messier, they're going to go one, two. I'm going to give the advantage to whoever draws the inside. Uh, I think inside speed with these two, whoever whoever's going to get the shortest trip around probably gets this done. Uh, if it's Forbidden Kingdom, okay. If it's Messier, okay. I'm going to need to see a big figure from one of them to or both of them to really take them seriously in the Derby because how weak this California crop has seemed to be for these prep races. I am more interested in the bluegrass and the wood memorial this weekend than I am here. But obviously if one of them run a high 90 low triple digit buyer, they are they're right in the picture with uh, epicenter for favoritism in the Kentucky Derby. So it's a very small field. This is a short, this is very short video. I'm hoping Forbidden Kingdom draws the inside of Messier. I th I really don't see anything outside of those top two that will probably be entered that can really make any noise. I, I'd be shocked if Baffert actually enters uh, Tabia because I don't think he's, I again, I don't see the point of rushing this horse into his graded stakes company when he can't earn derby points. So I, I don't think he'll be entered, but if he is entered, he is definitely one I would be interested in using as well. But again, I'll be back later this week with the bluegrass and the wood memorial getting these out a little early because El Hombre is going to Keeneland for the bluegrass stakes. So we got to get these out before he leaves. So I will be back and best of luck if you're playing the Santa Anita Derby this Saturday.